Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be continuing my talk about logistic regression. So in this video, we'll be seeing how to do multiple logistic regression. So by that, I mean we have one categorical output or response variable and we have multiple predictor variables. So in this example, we can see that we have react one, react two, time and humidity. These are four continuous variables and we have vessel number and shift, which are two categorical variables. So I'll be using these six variables uh, to predict the outcome uh, variable so which is a multiple logistic regression so in order to do that I'll be going to analyze and using the fit model here outcome will be my y response so by default when I put outcome as the y variable you can see that the personality changes to nominal logistic and then I choose react to humidity as my construct model effects and I'll be changing my target level to fail here and say run so here you can see that jump has done the multiple logistic regression under fx summary it's showing the different uh, uh, predictive variables and the p-values so here you can see that react one is not significant because it has a p-value greater than 0 0.05 so i will be removing that now you can see that shift is also not significant and so is time so once we do this uh, we can also uh, see the under uh, if you go to the red triangle option and open the profiler here you can see using the prediction profiler to understand how the outcome changes based on the uh, different uh, variables that are significant. So now for re react to the red line over here is now at the mean but uh, you can see that beyond a certain value uh, for react to the fail percent kind of increases significantly. So here uh, now you can see that uh, when the uh, beyond uh, say a value of 5.16 the outcome variable uh, outcome for fail increases drastically vessel number you can see that uh, it doesn't change a lot but uh, you can see that among these three vessels uh, vessel 3 has the most fail percent and also humidity you can see something similar to that of react 2 additionally you can also see how uh, two variables affect for example let's say you have very high value of react 2 you can see that uh, at a certain level of humidity you can indeed you know uh, reduce the fail percent so uh, so this is how you can try to uh, use the prediction profiler to understand how your uh, different predictors affect the model uh, and the desired outcome and if you come to the parameter estimates table uh, you can see the parameter estimates for uh, different uh, uh, the predictor values and uh, under the fit details you'll be able to see the misclassification rate for this particular example the misclassification rate is six percent and also additionally uh, under the whole model test you can see that the probability is uh, less than 0 0.05 which means this model is significant and also uh, if you come to the red triangle option you can see the confusion matrix and so this is the actual uh, values of the confusion matrix and this is in terms of the percent so here you can see that uh, six of the outcomes were wrongly classified and uh, uh, additionally another thing that you can do is uh, come to the red triangle option and say save probability formula so once you do this uh, you'll see that four new columns are uh, three new columns are four new columns are created here the lin fail and probability of fail, probability of pass and most likely outcome. So now if you input uh, new values for react to humidity and uh, vessel number, then uh, this model can be used to predict the outcome, the most likely outcome based on the new values. So this is how you can do multiple logic regression in jump.